Okay, so I've now gone through some personalization steps for passwords. I've gone through some admin steps, reconciling our components and our modules for our invoice. I've done the authorized contact, support logging, I've discussed sandbox. So now we're finally getting to the actual configuration of NetSuite, right? So the very first thing I'm going to do is company information. What you will notice when I get to NetSuite, under the setup tab, under company, that is the very first task, right? As a general rule, when you work in NetSuite, you will notice that these menus, in, as a general rule, are in the order that you should do them, chronological order. For instance, if I go and look at transactions, right, and I look at purchases, that's the normal order, right? You will first do a purchase order, then you'll order, and then you'll receive, right? So just a quick note there around the menus, right? So I'm a company, and I'm on company information. Right, so I've already filled in a range of these fields that I think is very simple and very obvious. Name, legal name, you've got to get your logo in. You will notice if you click on the help, uh, help tab there on the name, you will see it's going to give you detail here around the parameters for your logo. 114 pixels wide and 30 pixels high. Right, so I've got my logos in there. Right, do you want to display them internally? Check the box to show the logo selected in the company logo, the pages field, on all pages of your NetSuite account next to the NetSuite logo. Now, you can see I've ticked that, so there you can see my logo. Right, here's my website. I am in New South Wales, country Australia. There's my email. I do not have a fax, so I'm just going to leave that out. There's my ABN number, my ACN number, my Australian company number. Um, currency Australia, yep. I do not want to override the currency format. I'm happy with that sample format there. Um, my first uh, fiscal month of the year is July. My time zone is Sydney. There's my account ID. It tells me where my data center is. This is a reasonably new f feature. You never used to know where your data sat. Um, and I do believe this is actually also a reasonably new data center. Right? So that is all the primary information. Then I've got to go and set up my addresses. Right? So I'll go Australia Attention. Bring that here. I'm at the moment not going to fill my shipping and dressing, uh, sorry, return and shipping addresses. You should absolutely do that. Right. There is your URLs, right, for login, forms, you will we'll get to that later. And system notes is just going to show me exactly when I did what, step by step, play by play. Okay. All right. So I'm going to save that. And that is your company information. What I would like to add to that is that you will notice on my master config workbook, I say there set per worksheet. So you will notice there's a company information worksheet here, right? That pretty much shows you all the fields you got to fill in. Now, again, the idea and the aim of this worksheet is to, is, is, is there's multiple reasons. One of them is, in the case where you want to start preparing NetSuite, but you don't have a license yet. All right, so let's say you're early in your, in your journey on NetSuite, and you're only going to get your licenses, let's say, on the 1st of January. 
all right? That means you don't have NetSuite access and you don't know what the fields are and you don't know what data you need to start sourcing. If you use this workbook, this config workbook, you know everything that you that will be asked, all the fields, and you can slowly, slowly start putting them in here, all right? So that when you get to the 1st of January, that you don't waste any money for months trying to find the information. Prepare yourself. Use these before you get your licenses so that you do not waste money trying to figure out and trying to resource all this data. 